Hello friends, my name is Nikhil and I welcome you back to the Phone Darshan Tech channel. In today's episode of this channel, I am going to unbox and review the TP-Link Wi-Fi range extender AC750 dual band router. And along with this, I am also going to tell you that how you could configure and set up this Wi-Fi range extender along with this Geo router, eyeball button router or with the D-Link router. So let us go ahead with the unboxing of this router first. Subscribe to Phone Darshan channel and click on this bell icon to receive the latest technology information. So as you could see that in the front of this uh, box of the router, it is written that it is AC750 dual band router. Now dual band means that it supports two Wi-Fi bands. One is 5 GHz and the second one is 2.4 GHz. Now when you use the 5 GHz, then it will support the speed up to 433 Mbps and when you use the 2.4 GHz band, in that case it will support the download speed of up to 300 Mbps. Now the other things that it says it, it is Wi-Fi dead zone killer. This means that if there is any place where the Wi-Fi is not present and if you install it there, I mean to say that if there is any place where the Wi-Fi signal is very weak and you install it there, then it will boost the Wi-Fi signal there and you will be able to use the Wi-Fi in those areas very easily and the second one is access point mode if you use access point mode this means that this wi-fi range extender will not create any another wi-fi access point it will use the same access point as of your existing router and you will be able to connect using the same settings and the third thing that it says that easy setup via app this means that you will be able to uh, set up this wi-fi range extended easily also using the application which is available in the apple's app store or the google's play store for example uh, let me show you the apple's app store here now search for tp link t e t h e r Friends, you have to do the similar thing if you are using an Android device and you are using Google Play Store. Here you can see that this is the TP-Link Tether application. I have already installed it, so I am getting the open option here. If you are new to this, you will get get option here so that you could download this application. Now this is one of the ways using which you could connect your Wi-Fi range extender to the router. And there is an another way also using WPS. So we will come to that later on. Now if you see here, you will find that its price is written to be 5,499 rupees but in actual I have purchased it in 1,699 rupees which is equivalent to 20 USD. Now let us go ahead and open it. Now when you open it you will get uh, one GNU general public license notice. Second thing that you will get is a quick installation guide. Then you will get the Wi-Fi range extender itself. So friends, this is the TP-Link Wi-Fi range extender. So now let us go ahead and see that how we could install and configure this TP-Link's Wi-Fi range extender. Now in order to configure it, I am going to use the WPS approach. Now friends, let me show you one thing. If you are using the eyeballs router, here you could see that it does have a WPS button. Now let us go to the second router which is the D-Link's router. Now in this router also, if you turn it backwards, you will see that it has a WPS button here. Now in the Geo, you will see that in Geo also, you have a WPS button here. Now this uh, Geo router is the main device that has internet connection to it and I am using this device. So I will show you the further steps using this Geo's router. Now friends, the steps to proceed further are same for the D-Link, Geo and the Eyeball Buttons router. All three of them have WPS button. Now the next thing that you have to do to configure it is that you have to press the 
WPS button on either of these routers that you have. Now I have the Geo router, I'm using it for my internet connectivity. So this is the active setup that I have. So I'm going to use the WPS button on this Geo router. Now let us go ahead and press this button. And now you could see that the green LED has started to blink. So now this router is ready to accept any connections to it. Now I press this solid diamond button. Let me put the device near to the router. Now I'm pressing the WPS button again because once you press the button, it stays active only for say 5 to 10 seconds. Now you have to wait until the blinking diamond LED light goes back to solid again. Once this blinking light has gone back to solid, then you will see that both of the connections are now active. And once the connections are active, this light is now turned off. So this is basically a refresh light. When you want to make a connection, then you have to click on this refresh button so that it will start searching for the Wi-Fi routers, WPS signals. And once the signals are received, these both LED lights for 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz will go back to green. And then this will first go to solid green and then this diamond LED will stop blinking. Now friends, the Geo Giga Fiber router that I have, that router supports both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz Wi-Fi frequency bands. Because of that reason, the both of these LEDs for 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz are glowing. Now, if your router only supports 2.4 GHz band, then you will find that only one LED for 2.4 GHz will glow up here. Now let us go ahead and run a speed test when this iPhone is first connected to the router. Remember friends, at this point, this phone is not connected to this extender, but it is connected to the Geo Wi-Fi router. So when this phone is connected to the router, this is the speed that you are getting. So when this phone is directly connected to the router, then you are getting the download speed of 82.7 and an upload speed of 114 Mbps. Now let us go ahead and connect this phone to the wireless extender from TP-Link. Now as you could see here that I have kept the name of my Wi-Fi network as virus 5 and virus 2.4 denoting 5 GHz and 2.4 GHz bands respectively. Now when I connected my wireless extender then it has created two additional uh, access points and those two access points are underscore 5G EXT and underscore EXT. So the first one is for 2.4 GHz and the another one which has underscore 5 appended to it that one is the 5 GHz band. So now let us go ahead and connect to the 5 GHz one here because the first test that I did with my router that was with 5 GHz band. Now friends as you could see that now I have connected to the underscore 5G EXT. This is the 5 GHz extenders band that I have connected now and the password that I have used is similar to the password of the original router. That means the password that you are using on your existing router you have to use the same password to connect to this network on the Wi-Fi extenders access point. So now let us go ahead and run the speed test again. So as you could see that on the 5 GHz band the earlier speed on the actual router was 82.7 Mbps download speed and 114 Mbps upload speed. Now let us go ahead and run the same test while connected to the wireless extenders 5 GHz band. Now friends, as you could see here that the download speed has reduced to 46 Mbps and the upload speed has reduced to 66 Mbps. This means that when you are using a 5 GHz band, in that case, when you connect to the Wi-Fi extender, then your speed will be reduced by almost to half. Now let us go ahead and run the same tests for the 2.4 GHz band. So now let us go back. Now, now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to connect to the 2.4 GHz band of my existing router. Now I'm connected to the 2.4 GHz band of my Geo router. So now let us go ahead and run the test.
Now when connected to the 2.4 GHz band of my Jio Wi-Fi router, I have got a download speed of 62.5 Mbps and an upload speed of 90.5 Mbps. Now let us go ahead and connect this phone to the 2.4 GHz band of my TP-Link wireless extender. As you could see that this is 2.4 underscore AXT. Now this is the 2.4 GHz band. The password of connection will be similar to that of the password of your router. Now we have connected to the 2.4 GHz band of the TP-Link router. Now let us go ahead and see what is the speed that we get. So now friends, as you could see that when we connected to the 2.4 GHz band of the TP-Link Wi-Fi extender, then we got the download speed of 26.7 Mbps and the upload speed of 42.3 Mbps. So now friends, let us go ahead and see what is the range of this router. As you could see here that when I am standing near this uh, range extender, I am getting full signal. Now let us move away. I move to 5 feet. Around 10 feet. 15 feet then around 20 feet so when I move to around 20 feet then the signal is reduced by one bar or oh, it's reduced by three bars again two bars so I could say that the range of this router will be around 20 to 25 feet and it is good for you if you have around 3 to 4 BHK house you will get the complete coverage so that's it friends for today if you like this video then please click on the like button which is right below this video and if you're new to this channel then please also click on the subscribe button which is below this video so that when i upload new videos you will get a notification about it thank you friends have a great day ahead